Stoptober or Sober October is almost upon us. And I wanna make sure that anybody who wants to stay alcohol free for the month of October is set for success. And these seven tips for you to absolutely smash Sober October are sure to help. So let's dive into them right away. I'm Simon Chappell, the Quit Alcohol Coach, the author of the Sober Survival Guide and the book, How to Quit Alcohol in 50 Days. I'm a professional sobriety coach and I wanna help you on your journey to changing your relationship with booze. But initially, if you're just looking to take a break for a month, then this video is gonna help you. So my first tip for Sober October is not to rely on willpower. Nobody wants to be gritting their teeth and hanging on in there for the entire month and then find themselves on the 1st of November kicking down the pub door, dying to get that first drink back down them again. Instead, try and work on your mindset. Get really excited about what you're doing because there's gonna be some really good surprises coming your way across the month. You're gonna get some gifts from being alcohol free and it's important for you to pay attention to those. So give yourself permission to get excited and try and let go of any kind of hanging on or willpower. If you feel that you're getting by on willpower alone, start looking at your beliefs. What is it you believe that alcohol gives you? And start asking yourself how much truth there is behind those beliefs. Very often they're limiting beliefs, they're false beliefs that hold us back. My second Sober October tip is to take a selfie. Try and take it on the first day or the day before. But at the end of the month, take another selfie and compare the two side by side. You'll probably notice that the darkness under your eyes has started to fade away because you're beginning to get full restorative sleep, which we don't get when we drink alcohol. We don't go through the proper sleep cycles and we don't wake up feeling fully refreshed. So it's important to notice that. And you may also notice that your face isn't as bloated by the end of the month. Our body hangs on to all the hydration it possibly can when we drink regularly. That was absolutely the case for me. And after 30 days, I noticed that my face was a bit thinner because it wasn't bloated any longer. And you might find that your skin seems to be glowing. Not glowing from radiation or anything like that, but glowing in a really positive and healthy way. People might even pay compliments to you and start to notice or tell you that you look younger somehow. Well, that is because you're not drinking. When we don't drink, our skin regains its elasticity. When we're drinking, it tends to dry out. Again, it's all to do with hydration. So know that some of these gifts are gonna come your way. Pay attention to them, take a selfie at the start and take another one towards the end of October. And I think you'll be surprised by what you see. Now my third tip, if you're anything like me, you probably drink to a routine. For me, it was around seven or 8 p.m. and the red wine would come out, usually a box, and I'd usually get through most of it, if not all of it. It's important to have an alternative, a new go-to drink, so that you can still satisfy the routine if you choose to keep it, but you're not drinking alcohol. Now there are so many zero alcohol options. There are botanical drinks, alcohol-free spirits, beers, wines, things like kombucha, you name it. There's so many to choose from. So find something that suits your taste, that still feels like a grown-up drink. Maybe even get yourself a special alcohol-free glass and you can have your drinks in that. And make it special. Put a slice of lemon or a slice of lime in it to really make it feel like a treat. And you'll soon forget that you're not drinking alcohol. My next tip is not to go this alone. It's important to have a supportive tribe around you. Now you're welcome to join my Facebook community, subscribe to my YouTube channel and connect with the community on here. Whatever feels right for you, but don't feel like you're doing this on your own because you're absolutely not. There's thousands of other people going on the exact same journey who can be there to support you and for you to share with them and them to share with you. So make sure you find somewhere that feels like a good fit, where you can get connection, support, love, and whatever you need on your own journey. As I say, my Facebook group, Be Sober, B-E Sober, is a great place to look. It's completely free, you just need to search on Facebook or follow the link on my YouTube channel page and you can join right away. Now my next tip is to notice what you gain. So many people use the term, I'm giving up alcohol for October, or I'm giving up alcohol forever, whatever it might be. 
But we don't give up anything. When we stop drinking, we actually gain so much. We don't lose anything. We don't give up anything. Again, it's a false belief and it's a perception that many of us hold. We think we're losing out. We think we're giving up. But actually, we're gaining. And it's so important for you to track what happens in your own experience. So you may want to get a mood tracker to notice what happens with your mood. Our emotions can be up and down over the first week or two. But after that, they stabilize. And then things start to get better and better. And we start feeling calmer more grounded, mentally resilient, at peace in our lives. We tend to have a deep sense of peace within. And of course, we feel happier. Now, all of that stuff's on the inside. I've already mentioned some of the things that change on the outside, but there's way more. So it's worth keeping a journal and making a note of everything that happens in your experience, because this is gonna help you for the final step, which is step seven. And that is to make a decision towards the end of the month whether you prefer living a life without alcohol and whether you want to extend your break. Maybe you want to add another 50 days or stay sober for November. If you've got the data and you've noticed what you've gained and whether your life has improved, then you're going to be in a really great place to make an informed decision going forward. Now, if your life is worse and you prefer a life drinking, then I respect that. I respect whatever you want to do. But do it from a place where you feel comfortable with your decision and you've got the data to back it up. My feeling is that you're probably going to find your life is significantly better without alcohol. I don't ever hear anybody complaining about living alcohol free. It's only people who are still drinking that I hear from who are complaining about it and wanting to make a change. But notice it. Get the data. You can make an informed decision and you'll probably find a lot of your beliefs that have been holding you back will start to shift because you've actually had the experience. You've learned something new and things have changed for you. You won't hold those same limiting beliefs any longer. So that gives you seven powerful tips to see you through Sober October. If you're staying sober for October, or if you're sober already, post a comment below. I'd love to hear your tips. Share them, they're gonna help other people. What's worked for you? What hasn't worked for you? And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a little red button Button on the screen that says subscribe simply click that and the bell icon and then you'll get notified every time there's a new video which is every Tuesday and every Thursday so until the next video I'll see you again very soon